Hi everybody, it's me, Miss Sean from Play to Learn, and I have another great story time for you. This one is such a fun book, and it's a little about monkey see, monkey do. You'll see. Just wait and see. Let's read the story together. It's called Caps for Sale, a tale of a peddler, some monkeys, and their monkey business. Hmm. And monkey business is a fun way of saying being silly, right? This book has the reading rainbow seal of approval. And that is another great way to tell if it's a really great classic book. And this one is. Your kids will really love this. Because sometimes they act like monkeys too, right? Am I right? Yeah. Let's read. a lot of words on this page. Are you ready? Once there was a peddler who sold caps, but he was not like any ordinary peddler carrying his wares on his back. He carried them on top of his head. First he had his own checked cap, then a bunch of gray caps, a bunch of brown caps, blue caps, and on the very top, red ones. You see all those caps? He wore them on his head. I don't know how he's walking and they're not falling over. He walked up and down the streets, holding himself very straight so as not to upset the caps. And he went along and he called, are you ready? Caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. That's kind of a good deal. One morning he couldn't sell any caps. He walked up and down the street he walked down the street calling caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. But nobody wanted any caps. Nobody even wanted a red cap. He began to feel very hungry, but he didn't have any money for lunch. I think I'll go for a walk in the country, he said. And he walked out of town slowly so as not to upset his caps. So there he goes. He's leaving town to take a walk in the country. <clears throat> he walked for a long time until he came to a great big tree. That's a nice place for a rest, thought he. And he sat down very slowly under the tree and leaned back little by little against the tree trunk so as not to disturb the caps upon his head. Then he put his hand to feel if they were straight. First, his own checked cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, and then the red caps on the very top. Look at that. That's a math skill. Sorting by color. They were all there, so he went to sleep. He slept for a long time. When he woke up, oh, he was refreshed and rested stretching and yawning. But before standing up, he felt with his hand to make sure his caps were in the right place. He felt his own checked cap. What's missing? The red ones, the brown ones, the blue ones, the gray ones, they're all missing. Oh no. He looked to the right, no caps. He looked to the left, no caps. He looked behind him, no caps. He looked behind the tree. That's right, no caps. Then he looked up. And what do you think he saw? What's gonna be in that tree? Do you remember what I said? Monkey business, monkey see, monkey do. On every branch sat a monkey. On every monkey was a gray, or a brown, or a blue, or a red cap. Oh my goodness. Look at that monkey business. 
those silly monkeys have taken his hat and are wearing them on their head. Uh-oh. The peddler looked at the monkeys. The monkeys looked at the peddler. He didn't know what to do. So finally, he spoke to them. You monkeys, you, he said, shaking a finger at them. You give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook their fingers back at him and said, zoo, 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 zoo. Huh. This made the peddler angry. So he shook both hands at them and said, you monkeys, you, you give me my caps. But the monkeys only shook their hands back at him and said, <laughs> Monkey business. And do you see they are copying him? Monkey see, monkey do. Now he felt quite angry and he stamped his foot. And he said, you monkeys, you, you better give me back my cat. But the monkeys only stamped their feet back at him and said, tee, 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 tee. So everything he does, they do. By this time, the peddler was really very angry. He stamped both of his feet and shouted, You monkeys, you! You must give me back my caps! But the monkeys only stamped both of their feet back at him and said, tee, 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 tee. Hmm. At last he became so angry that he pulled off his own cap and threw it to the ground and began to walk away. What do you think is going to happen? Remember, the monkeys do what he does. Each monkey pulled off his cap and you guessed it, all the gray caps and all the brown caps and all the blue caps and all the red caps came flying down out of the tree. He shook his finger at them. They shook their finger back. He shook his fist at them. They shook their fists back. He threw his hat down. They threw their hats down. Look at that. He solved his problem and didn't even know he was going to do that. So the peddler picked up his caps, uh, caps and put them back on his head. First he checked his own checked cap. Then the gray caps and the brown caps and the blue caps. And what goes last? That's right, the red caps on the very top. And slowly, so slowly, he walked back to town calling, Caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. The end. That is some funny monkey business right there, right? Monkey see, monkey do. So remember, your little monkeys are always watching you too. So maybe you might have learned a little lesson in here too. But we've had fun reading a funny book about some silly monkeys and a guy just trying to sell his caps. All right, everybody, gather together, read books together, have some shared experiences together, and just a good laugh together, acting it out and having some fun. Remember, you are your child's first and best teacher. Find those teachable moments and just have fun playing and learning. Bye.